You're not going to want to miss this footage, but there's some very important points. Some people may consider this graphic. This has already been posted on TikTok. However, I have digitally enhanced it and slowed it down. Please don't report this video. I'm just trying to get the information out there. The accident did not happen the way that most reporters are reporting it. Now, I'm basing my information off of NTSB reports, as well as watching hours of commentary by former Blackhawk pilots, commercial pilots, and those in the know. My specialty is knowing quite a bit about many things, including aviation, which I can get into later. After all, I did work for Sukhoi, right? What appears to have happened here isn't that it hit it from behind or it hit it directly in the side. From looking at pilot's commentary, as well as what you can see here, it appears that the Blackhawk actually went in front of the CRJ and the left wing of the CRJ hit the Blackhawk. The reason you can see this is as it spirals down, you can see the red and the green, especially the green light of the CRJ as it spins around. If you look at where the CRJ is sitting here, the whole center of the plane is intact. So there's people talking about how the whole plane blew up and everybody expired when it blew up. That's not likely. They probably expired when it hit the water because of the impact. But most of them probably had a horrifying five seconds or so. Look closely at the video. You can see the green light of the wing spinning around. As far as the flash and what people are calling that big bright explosion, when a plane comes in for landing, it doesn't have a lot of fuel left. They put the right amount of fuel in to reach an airport plus have a surplus in case it has a delay or has a diversion. But generally, there's not a lot of fuel left. What is in the fuel tanks, which is in the wings, by the way, is a lot of fuel vapor. So if the rotors of the helicopter hit the wing, it's going to ignite the vapor and the remaining fuel and spray that all around. But if it hit the wing, as it looks like it most likely did, and not the fuselage, it's going to cause that big flare up, but not necessarily do much damage to the fuselage itself. If you look at the pictures in the river here, you can see the whole center section of the wing and the fuselage likely broke off from the impact because as you can see it falling, it looks like most of the fuselage is intact as well. And the Black Hawk itself was also largely intact. You can see from the pictures here. If there had been a direct collision between the Black Hawk and the fuselage, they would not be intact like this at all. And the explosion would have been much, much bigger. I was a professional speaker for Microsoft as well, and I can specialize in taking very highly technically deep projects and distilling them down into simpler subjects. So for example, the person who called me out for saying runway 33, yes, because I'm talking to the general public here. Of course, if you're talking, you know, over ATC, you're going to say runway 33, but I'm not trying to confuse people. I'm trying to speak in a dialect that they understand. 